Okay guys, today I want to talk about a new TSB that just came out for the DPS6 transmission. That's the dual clutch, automatically shifted, manual transmission found in the 2011 through 2015 Ford Fiesta and the 2012 through 2015 Ford Focus. And what the TSB has to do with is the fact that they're, uh, they're programming a new DTC into the module to alert you early enough that the trans control module is failing internally. Now this code is a P0606, and we had this code for a long time now for the PCMs in the vehicles to alert you when there's an internal microprocessor error inside of there that the, the module is actually failing. And the point of this is so that you know early enough, you get that message in the cluster, so that you know to either bring it into service or it'll give you enough time, enough of a warning, so you can get home safely depending on the situation that you're in. Now what's different about this transmission is the trans control module doesn't just control the transmission electronically, it actually has shift motors built into it that stick into the transmission case and automatically shift the transmission for you. Now as a companion to this new TSB, there's a new customer satisfaction program that they started mailing letters out for called 15B22. And what this does, it updates the transmission software once again to give you that P0606 code so that you know early enough that the transmission control module is failing. It also aids the technician in finding a failure because usually this is intermittent until I think totally dies out on you and they'll just tell you to go away, go away, and go away. Now they have a DTC set knowing that the internal microprocessor has failed in the past and they could change it out to the latest model for you and get the transmission reliable again for you. Now there's a whole slew of symptoms associated with a failing trans control module that you may think are internal. There's so many of them actually that I know a couple off the top of my head but I'm gonna mix them up. So I'm just gonna read off the TSB of the most common ones. So what we have here is, let's see here. Intermittent concerns of loss of gearing while driving. I get a lot of questions about that. I personally have not experienced that, but obviously if it's taking control of the whole transmission from the shift points to the, the electronic side, you can of course lose gearing as you're driving. You can have no engagement when you put it into drive or reverse. Intermittent no start. I've had people have uh, uh, reverse park aid lights on. Um, intermittent loss of power. Message center that says hill start assist is not available. That's because the transmission control module is failing. I've had that before. Um, parking malfunctions, and the Prindle, the park, reverse, neutral, drive, that'll like flicker in the cluster, be really weird, and I actually had one where the shifter down there was, was clicking and twitching also besides in the cluster. So there's all kinds of symptoms, but you may think these are just intermittent type concerns. I'm telling you, if, you, if you're not on the list for 15B22, because it only says certain vehicles that are made at a certain plant, it's, it's behoo of you to go in and get this new latest software as of August 15th, I would say, 2015. They should have the latest software out uh, that actually gives you this P0606 code. So that way you know, let's say before you even go on a big trip, you're driving around and feel a little jerky and stuff like that, ah, it's just a fluke. It'll throw the code in the cluster so you know to get that changed out before you go on a trip. It can be that useful. So just letting you guys know exactly what's going on in the world of Ford once again, and I hope this helps.